Welcome to the online service for Timonium United Methodist Church. We're glad that you're part of our worship today. Our call to worship comes from Psalm 32. Blessed are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed are those whom the Lord does not hold guilty, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I did not declare my sin, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. Then you forgave the guilt of my sin. Let us pray. As a shepherd seeks a lost sheep, so God seeks and saves the lost. Like a woman who searches for a lost coin until it is found, so God rejoices over one soul restored to wholeness. As a father receives a returning wayward son, so God welcomes us and lets the past be the past. Therefore, let us praise God in thanksgiving that we are received. Let us receive and welcome and rejoice over one another in the name of Jesus Christ. And all God's people said, Amen. Our first scripture lesson comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 to 21. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once knew Christ from a human point of view. We know him no longer in that way. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. So we are ambassadors for Christ. Since God is making his appeal through us, we entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. If it is within your tradition to stand for the reading of the gospel, please do so at this time. It comes from the Gospel of Luke, 15th chapter. Now, all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus, and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus said there was a man who had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the property that will belong to me. So he divided his property between them. A few days later, that younger son gathered all he had and traveled to a distant country. And there he squandered his property in dissolute living. When he had spent everything, a severe famine took place throughout that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed the pigs. He would gladly have filled himself with the paws that the pigs were eating, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired hands have bread enough and to spare? Here I am dying of hunger. I will get up and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and before you, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me like one of your hired hands. So he set off and went to his father. But while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran and put his arms around him and kissed him. Then the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly, bring out a robe, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandal on his feet. Get the fatted calf and kill it. Let us eat and celebrate, for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to celebrate. Now, the elder son was in the field, and when he came and approached the house, he heard music and dancing. He called one of the slaves and asked what was going on. And he replied, your brother has come and your father has killed the fatted calf because he has got him back safe and sound. Then he became angry and refused to go in. His father came out and began to plead with him. But he answered his father, listen, for all these years I have been working like a slave for you and I have never disobeyed your command. Yet you have never even given me a young goat so that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours came back, who has devoured your property with prostitutes, you killed a 
fatted calf for him. Then the father said to him, son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. But we had to celebrate and rejoice because this brother of yours was dead and has come to life. He was lost and has been found. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.